it's Jay. Welcome back to my channel. Our lesson for today is Dobutsu wo Arawasu Kanji. So our lesson is about animal kanji. So let's get started. This kanji, you can read this as ushi or gyu. Guys, ushi means cow. For example, Watashi wa inaka de ushi wo sodate tai. One more time, moichido. Watashi wa inaka de ushi wo sodate tai. I want to raise cows in my hometown. Guys, inaka, it can mean hometown or it can also mean countryside. But in this sentence, inaka means hometown. If you can see this kanji, it means that the product or something is related to cows. For example, gyunyu, gyunyu. Even though you don't know the second kanji, but at least it gives you an idea that this word is related to cows. This word, gyunyu, means milk. Our second kanji, this kanji, is tori or cho. Tori or cho. Guys, tori means chicken or bird. Or in general, it means bird. For example, sora ni takusan no hakucho ga tonde imasu. Moichido. Sora ni takusan no hakucho ga tonde imasu. There are many doves flying in the sky. Just like ushi and gyu, if you see this kanji with another kanji, it will give you an idea that this word or let's say the product is related to birds or chicken. Let's say this kanji means white or shiro. Shiro and tori means white bird. So when you imagine a white bird, it means a dove. So haku cho means dove. In general, all birds names have this kanji, tori. Just like hakucho, white bird. Or in general, it means dove. Okay, so our third kanji is this kanji. You can read this as uma, ma, or ba. Uma means horse. So again, if you see this kanji with another kanji, that word is somewhat related to horses. For example, this kanji. When you see this kanji, ah, there is uma kanji. So it means that this word is related to horses. This kanji is kuruma, which means car. So now we have an idea that this kanji is kuruma, car, and uma, uma, or car. So we have an idea that this is a carriage because uma, kuruma, uma, kuruma. So the reading of this kanji is basha, uma, or a cart horse. So one more time, basha, uma, basha, uma, okay, is a cart horse. Our fourth kanji is this kanji. This kanji is sakana or gyo. Sakana or gyo. Sakana means fish. Okay? So, for example, this kanji. Kin means gold. And the second kanji is sakana. Or you can read it as gyo. Gyo. Short gyo. Gyo. Okay? This is kin gold and then sakana yo king yo king yo or gold fish okay so let's say maguro maguro is this kanji when you check this kanji it's like there is sakana kanji and then another kanji in general it means maguro or tuna and then this kanji is saba mackerel as you can see, when you check the kanji, there's sakana kanji and another kanji. When you see them together, it's like just one kanji. It's saba. Any word that has 
sakana, it means it's related to fish. Or let's say all the fish names, almost all, have this kanji sakana. Okay, so our last kanji for today, which is about dobutsu or animals, is this kanji. Naku. Guys, there is one more kanji, naku, but it means cry. But this naku is different because this naku is related to animals. And this kanji can be read as mei, naku, naru, narasu. Narasu no for bells. Narasu. Narashite kudasai. Please ring the bell. For example, for gaki, narashite kudasai. Again, please ring the bell. Narashite kudasai. Bell wo narashite kudasai. So again, this kanji is related to animals only and some, some things like bells. And also, this kanji is used to describe animal sounds only. But again, I told you that there is one more kanji, naku, naku. This naku is for animals and then this naku is for human, for crying. Kanoju wa naite imas, she is crying. Tori wa naite imas. When you say tori wa naite imas, it's like the birds are kind of like singing or tweeting. Yes, that is for naku no naku, and then this is for human no naku. Okay, and let's take a look at this kanji. There's kuchi or mouth, kuchi or mouth for bird or tori. So this kanji implies that you can only use this kanji for animals and other sounds except for humans. Again, cry in Japanese is also naku, but the kanji is different. Okay, for example, ino ga imasu, so the dog is barking. Tori wa imasu, the bird is singing or tweeting. And when you say another naku, I told you there is an, another naku, kanojo wa imasu, she is crying. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you learned something from today's video and see you soon. Goodbye!